Good afternoon, friends, colleagues, students, and guests at Clemson University. We refer to all these groups as family and friends. So hello, family and friends. It's my honor and immense pleasure to introduce Dr. Kelly S. Bricker as the 2020 recipient of the Benton H. Box Award. The award recognizes the teacher who by precept and example inspires in students the quest for knowledge or the administrator who fosters a learning environment and encourages curriculum innovation for an environmental ethic as the rule of conduct. Although this award statement was written years ago by those unfamiliar with Kelly's accomplishments and Dr. Box served Clemson University starting in the 1970s, today this statement describes Dr. Bricker with perfection. Kelly is a professor and chair of the Department of Parks, Recreation and Tourism at the University of Utah. Having spent five years at the University of Utah myself, enthusiastically following Kelly's administrative guidance, I feel uniquely qualified to comment on her impressive leadership, transformative power and caring demeanor. Dr. Bricker's research and teaching focuses on sustainable tourism and mitigating tourism oriented impacts on communities and the environment. As a scholar, Dr. Bricker has co-authored and edited seven books focused on sustainable tourism and have published more than 60 peer reviewed journal articles yielding more than 2,500 citations. She serves, as the board, serves on the board of directors for the Global Sustainable Tourism Council, the Tourism and Protected Area Specialist Group of the IUCN, and the Central Wasatch Stakeholders Council. Similar to Director Hartzog, Kelly cares about wild places and deeply cares about the people associated with them. As one example, her husband and 12 communities in the rural highlands of Fiji um, established a lease for conservation on the upper Nauvoo River through an ecotourism project titled Rivers Fiji. Dr. Bricker has a prolific speaking record traveling to more international destinations for keynote speeches in a single month than most of us dream of in a lifetime. The following countries and regions dot Kelly's curriculum vita and have benefited from her consultation. Australia, Bali, British Columbia, Chile, China, Colombia, Costa Rica, Dubai, the Faroe Islands, Fiji, Germany, Greece, India, Indonesia, Italy, Malaysia, the Netherlands, Norway, Portugal, Russia, South Africa, South Korea, and Tasmania. More than 35 graduate students have benefited from Kelly as their dissertation or thesis chair and more than 40 graduate students have received her guidance on their committees. As a teacher and mentor, Kelly effectively guides students with empathy and support while also challenging them to reach beyond their preconceived goals, climbing to new heights. Students continue to seek Kelly's advice and mentorship after degree completion and oftenly, often appropriately refer to her as a lifelong friend. As an administrator, Dr. Bricker is equally kind and tenacious, and like water over limestone, she consistently and patiently perseveres without wavering once strategic goals are collaboratively identified. She has gracefully navigated budget challenges, departmental and college restructuring, staffing and faculty changes, and of course, leading through the joys of a pandemic. Those lucky enough to operate under her leadership adore her and aspire to her example. She provides freedom, support, and consistent encouragement to junior faculty and embraces the academic autonomy of seasoned professors. One element not evident in her CV or in her professional bio is her love, care, and respect for all humans, regardless of their background, beliefs, or residency. Above all, she outwardly expresses this love and care towards her husband, Nate Bricker, who reciprocates the same. As a couple, they embrace their positive influence on each other, their department and the world. Together, they inspire others, provide an example of love and professional collegiality and brighten the rooms they enter. 
my life is better because I know Kelly. The fact is that, that my life's not just better, but it's been positively transformed because of my collaborations with Kelly, leaving a lasting impact until I depart this world. I'm only one, but hundreds will say the same. Anyone lucky enough to interact with Kelly, operate under her leadership, or receive her mentorship is better for it. All that Kelly has to do is be herself, and ultimately the world benefits. Please help me in congratulating my friend, colleague, important mentor, and the 2020 Benton, Benton H. Box Award winner, Dr. Kelly S. Bricker. She is deserving and fully embodies the intent of this award. Congratulations, Kelly. Well-deserved and certainly beyond contest. Thank you, everyone. To begin, my sincere appreciation to Clemson University's Institute for Parks and to all those responsible for the George B. Hartzog Jr. Environmental Awards. I am also appreciative of the many contributions Dr. Box has made on behalf of the fostering of environmental ethics and his distinguished leadership of the College of Forest and Recreation Resources. His career made a difference in the lives of many students, faculty, and staff, laying an important foundation to address challenges we still face today. Perhaps like many of you, I can trace my love of nature back to early childhood and family outings, summer camp, camping vacations, and playing outside dawned at dusk has shaped who I am today and my interests and experience. These early experiences in the outdoors shape my future as well. As I learn being outside impacts your worldview, provides perspective, tests your mettle, and encourages a love and respect for our natural environment. I am thankful to professional experiences which included marine and ter terrestrial education programs, adventure travel, guiding experiences, and eventually ecotourism entrepreneurship. Experiential learning has formed my worldview and ignited a quest to understand how to maximize the positive aspects of natural resource tourism and recreation. Upon completion of my doctoral program and through a series of unexpected events, my husband Nate and I took on an opportunity to create a project which would challenge us to put theory to practice, whereby tourism funds conservation in the rural highlands of the Republic of Fiji. We moved to the Republic and started our work on creating Rivers Fiji, along with 12 communities and George Went and Oars. This unique partnership uses tourism dollars to support a lease for conservation along 24 kilometers of the upper Navua River in the rural highlands of Viti Levu. My research is influenced through these applied experiences throughout my life. Specifically, I conduct social science research in an attempt to comprehend the relationships between socioeconomic, environmental, and cultural management, and those factors which support or negate positive impacts with varying contexts of society and environments. In essence, the work I do is all about finding ways to love our planet and understand the role that nature plays in our health. I am interested in these complex systems that support us and how we can better understand and be better stewards of the lands and waters that keeps us healthy and enhance well-being. Unfortunately, we are seeing the unraveling of our planet's ecosystems at alarming rates, yet I remain hopeful we will discover better ways to live in harmony with the natural resource systems that support us and ensure access to the benefits of nature for all. With each year that passes, I am so grateful to be part of this community. I remain grateful to the people who have supported me, including my students, with whom I've had the privilege of working with, my colleagues who work tirelessly to support our mission, to friends and family who provide the daily support through these challenging times, and to my soulmate and lifetime partner, Nate, who keeps our dream alive. Thank you very much for this honor, and thank you for the Benton H. Box Award.